So in this video we're gonna see how we can create this simple counter application in react So here we can increase the count we can decrease the count and also we can reset the count to zero So here we have react boilerplate code now let's see how we can create that counter application from scratch we're gonna create counter.js so we're gonna create one simple counter component so first of all create some basic structure of our application so the application will have simple h1 counter and then inside one div we're gonna create one span and here we're gonna show the count value and then after that inside another div we're gonna contain all of our buttons like we can have the increment button the decrement button and also the reset button so all of our buttons are contained inside this div so this is the basic structure of our application now we are exporting the counter so we have to import the counter here inside the app.js so we are gonna import and then we are gonna render right here inside the app component so you can see the basic structure of our application is ready now we have to add functionality to those buttons and everything now inside the counter component to track the count value we need the state count and set count we're gonna use the use state hook for that and here the count will have initial value of zero now whenever we click on this increment button so we're gonna use this on click handler so on click of this button we're gonna run this callback and here we're gonna set the count and we're gonna increase the count value by one similarly for this decrement button we're going to decrease the count value by one and on click of this reset button we're just going to set the count value back to zero so now we have to show that count value right here inside that span so here we're gonna show the count value so you can see our counter application is working properly so we can increase the count decrease the count and also we can reset the count back to zero now so we have to add styling to our component so that it looks nice so first of all let's now add some of the class names to target them from the css so this div will have the class name of container so this will work as a container and then we're gonna style the count so this will have the class name of display and then we can style all of the buttons so here we're gonna add one class name to all of the button groups button group and then we have to individually style all of the buttons so here we have to add the class name to all of them so we're gonna add the class name button and this is one increment button so we're gonna call it increment similarly the decrement button will have the class name button and also decrement and similar for the reset button also it will have the class name button and reset so let's now target them from the css so here inside we're gonna create another file counter.css so this will contain all of our styling so we have to import that css right here inside the counter.js so we're gonna import dot slash counter.css so now we can write all of our css right here inside the counter.css and all of the styling will be applied to those elements right here so first of all we're gonna target the container so here we're gonna assign some height of 300 pixel some width of 300 pixel and we're gonna use the display flex and also we're gonna apply flex direction of column so they so the components will be shown in a column wise and we're gonna use the align item center and also we're gonna use some margin 20 pixel from the top and bottom and auto from left to right so that our component will be centered horizontally and then we have added some background color and added some font family and added some border radius of 5 pixel to have some rounded corners and also added some box shadow so that we have some nice shadow effect so we are done with styling the container so let's now style the h1 so we're gonna target the h1 so the h1 will have some font size of 2rem with a nice color 
and a margin bottom of 20 pixel so the each one is looking nice now we're gonna style this display class where we are showing our count value so the display will have some font size of 4m with a nice color and also some margin of 20 pixel from top and bottom and also have some padding around that count and also we have added some border radius to have some nice rounded corners added some nice background color and also added the shadow effect so you can see the counter has some nice shadow effect so let's now target these button groups and we style them properly so the button group we are using display flex with a gap between them of 10 pixel so you can see the buttons now have some gap of 10 pixel between them now let's add style to the buttons so all of the buttons will have some padding of 10 pixel and 20 pixel with some font size of 1.5 rem and we have removed the border from the button and added some nice border radius added the cursor of pointer and added some nice transition of the background color now we have to individually style all of the different buttons so first of all let's just target this increment button so the increment button will have the nice background color of green and a font color of white now let's target this decrement button so the decrement button has a nice red background color with a font color of white so you can see the decrement button looks really nice now let's target this reset button so the reset button has some nice orange background color with a font color of white so you can see the reset button looks really nice now we can add some hover effect to all of these buttons so whenever we hover over that button class then we wanted to change the opacity to 0 0.9 so you can see whenever we hover over all of our buttons we have a nice effect so here we can increment the count we can decrement the count and also we can reset the count back to 0 so this is the way we can create simple counter app and also we can style them using CSS. So hope this video is helpful to you. See you in another small project of react. So until then take care.